Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2018 video. Today I'm bringing you a defending masterclass. So I was playing against Real Madrid with Barcelona in the Copa del Rey final. So not only is it an, a cup final, but it's also a rival team. And it was on legendary difficulty. And it was absolutely insane. Um, the defending I thought was so good, I had to share it with you. So I took some snippets, and if you want to see the full game, then let me know in the comments, and I'll upload it. But it was absolutely, <laughs> I had to play my absolute off. <laughs> I'll let you fill in the gaps. <laughs> okay, so let's get straight into this video. Let me ask you this. Who's faster, Ronaldo or Sergio Roberto? Okay, it's quite clear that Ronaldo is faster. So what you're seeing here is, the red line is Cristiano Ronaldo's path. The letter B is Sergio Roberto's path, or it would be if I didn't engage Super Council. So what you're gonna see is me engage Super Council, which is hold your right trigger and right bumper at the same time. This gives you full control over your player, and it will allow me to take the path of C, the letter C. So I, the idea is to maintain as straight a line as possible if you deviate even slightly, it will slow you down. So try to keep the line as straight as possible and predict where you're going to meet the ball. So it's very hard, especially from the distance of this pass, uh, but I managed to do it perfectly. So that's what you're going to see here. And because I maintain that straight line, you're actually going to see Sergio Roberto outpace Ronaldo. Watch this. It's a through ball. He's made sure that that fell against his man. Okay, in this clip, Modric has played the ball into Benzema. You can see that I've moved downwards. And the reason for that is to prevent um, Benzema letting the ball run through his legs. And if he does, I'm going to be able to e intercept it easily. The second reason is that I know Benzema is better on his right foot than his left. So I'm sort of forcing him to go and shoot on his left foot. But it's all part of the mind games with the AI. So you move one way and then you cut back across and then what you're going to see me do is tap X to try and block the shot. So it's good to know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses and the idea is to force him onto his weaker foot. Benzema going through into the channel. Okay so Benzema's got the ball and I've marked that little red area and that's usually where they um, the computer will actually do a 180 turn. And that's where you can usually win the ball back. That's why you see me jockeying. So we're holding right trigger to, to jockey. But in fact, he doesn't actually turn on the spot, which I thought he was going to do. And in fact, as soon as I realize he's not going to turn, that's when I close the distance and the gap, and then I win the ball back. It's one of the hardest things to do because you've got to react to how the, the player's playing. And you've got to have really uh, quite high um, dexterity and uh, reflexes in order to match what the uh, what your opponent's doing. One thing I'd like to add is that the distance between PK and Benzema at this point, that's perfect because if he does the 180 turn, I can easily get around and nick the ball off him without exposing myself defensively. It's important not to get too tight. So what you're trying to do is wait for him to make his mind up, wait for him to make the move, wait for him to make the mistake. And as soon as he's made that move and he's lost more or less full control of the ball that's when you step in and make the tackle great strength too strong for his opponent wide so as you saw there's a big gap between Sergio Roberto and Ronaldo as soon as he received the ball I managed to close that gap back to the ideal sort of distance as you're seeing here and the second he does that Cruyff turn I'm actually going to close that distance and that's why I'm saying wait for them to make the move, wait for them to make the mistake because he does that Cruyff turn. There's nothing else he can do until that animation is complete. So that allows me to close the distance and it forces Ronaldo to play the ball backwards. Cristiano Ronaldo, get it forward quickly. Here I've just been exposed to a counter attack and you can see I've got Mina selected at the minute and Benzema is playing the ball into Ronaldo. Now what I want you to notice that that at no point do I select Sergio Roberto. I'm more concerned with Lucas Vasquez. And what you're going to see me do here is with Mina, hold the Super Council, keep that straight line, 
keep as much pace as you can because I've got a big piece of ground to make up on uh, Lucas Vasquez. Now the pass. Notice my positioning right here is that I'm not fully committing to going out to meet uh, Lucas Vasquez and the reason for that is because I've still got Benzema charging into the box so I don't want an easy goal. If he wants to shoot from here He's, I'm more than happy for him to try and beat um, Ter Stegen in goal. That's not a problem. Um, but yeah, it's, it's about not... It's about getting that fine balance of going to the ball carrier, but also being mindful of other attackers in the box. And it's more important to just sort of back off, wait until they cut inside, and then you go and meet them. And that's what you're going to see here. Lucas Vasquez. Look at the distance between Mina and Lucas Vasquez. And what I'm doing here is just tapping X once. Don't double tap because A, you could give away a penalty and B, um, it's a slower, longer animation, can leave you exposed. So just get close enough and then just tap X once and it will sort of stick out his foot and there's a chance you might knock the ball away. You may be wondering why I left Lucas Vasquez open with uh, Mina. And the reason for that is because there's a big gap between Jordi Alba and PK for the pass to Benzema. So I had to come across and intercept that passing lane, which did leave Lucas Vasquez open. But I managed to stop the main threat, which would be the through ball to Benzema. Now he's wondering who wants it. Because Mina's been dragged out of position, it's left a three on three in the box. And this is absolute desperation measures now. This is not where you want to be, really. But um, yeah, basically Benzema's got a, pretty much a free hit, an open goal. All he has to do is either strike it or turn and strike it. And yeah, we'll see what happens next. I don't play with auto sliding on. So you can see here, I'm just going to prove it to you. So you can see uh, PK is in the sliding tackle animation now. And Benzema hasn't even kicked the ball. So you can see this was actually a genuine sliding tackle. It's last ditch. I had to judge um, and know when he's going to strike the ball, and it's vitally important, but this is very, very risky. Now Benzema has a goal! So I just scored a goal, and if you've played Legendary Difficulty before, you'll know it's not going to be long before the ball's in the back of your net, especially in the Copa del Rey final against your rival. It's all one-touch stuff. I do everything right. I select the fullback there, push him out a little bit wider, get the right distance, but he managed to cut in very, very quickly. I do everything right here. I go out to meet him, get really nice and tight. Uh, he does a little reverse pass, and then it's, it's too late. I can't close that gap, and then he's got a free shot and goal to score. Like a good ball through. Okay, my first video clip I showed you about the importance of using Super Council to maintain a straight line. I've done that, but now Bale has touched the ball, he will break away from me. So what I'm going to do is, use, still using Super Council, is divert how I'm running to get tighter to Bale. And because I know Mina isn't as fast as Bale, if I can get a hand on him or a touch on him, the Physical contact and strength on the ball stats come into play and I believe Mina is actually stronger than Bale and that's why you're going to see me wrestle the ball off him. Now it's Bale. He's left his man. Let's watch this clip in half speed. So what you can see here is Jordi Alba is coming back and just going to maintain that distance. As soon as Bale takes a touch, I'm closing the distance and winning the ball. And that concludes the video guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And if you wanna see the full match, then drop a comment below and I'll upload the video probably tomorrow. Cheers guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.